All right, we are live with the last truly great Capcom game ever made, Resident Evil 4. Oh, man. They don't make them like this anymore. <laughs> um, sir they don't make games as good anymore for sure. All right. Damn, I had to stop playing last night. Because I was having so much fun. Even the cutscenes are more more engaging than modern games. They're quick, to the point, and get you hyped up for uh, actually fighting these guys. Or something? Nah, you don't, you don't look the type. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> uh. Okay, let, let me guess. guess. She's, She's the president's, president's daughter. daughter? <laughs> it's, too it's too good for a guess. guess. Wanna start, Wanna start explaining? explaining? Psychic powers. Oh, I love Lewis so much. Nah, nah. Just, <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. Now I'm just a good for nothing guy who happens to be quite a ladies man. Why'd you quit? Policia. You put your life on the line. Nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was. <laughs> Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in the lab at the department. It's so great at like hyping up these characters while uh, really, really respecting continuity at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, um, a lot of, a lot of modern RE games don't really care about, like, um, don't, don't, doesn't feel like, uh, they really respect things that, the things that have happened to these characters. Like, it, it really does feel, why does he just run off? I mean, I love this game, but there are certain aspects to it, like, okay, why, why did that happen? Uh, it's Leon. Sorry, I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tired. I love Leon so much. You're okay, right? Fine. There was a male civilian held captive. He's by far my uh, favorite RE protagonist. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No. But apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. Oof. All right. Welcome! Uh. Alright. I know this game probably started the uh, the whole like brown is a realistic trend. Like seriously, everything in this game is fucking brown. Just look at this. But uh, it still somehow manages to be stylish and gorgeous. I, I guess it's one of those things where uh, people took a certain aspect of the game and sort of uh, went the wrong direction with it. It, re it really does feel like uh, 
Everything wanted to be like this game, but uh, couldn't quite manage it. Or really even come close. Because like, I don't really hear people talk about, like... Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you selling? I have not seen a lot of people talk about a lot of these RE4 clones. Because I'm sure there are, like, several of them. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's see. Yeah, we need a bigger attache case. I always try to get these out right away. Uh... I might as well buy it. It's been a while since I played this. Uh, TMP, yeah, for sure. The TMP is actually, I, I would say, my favorite weapon. Uh, rocket launcher, yeah, for sure, no. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to use a, a healing item right away, because I completely forgot you don't heal in between chapters. All right, uh... There's really no point in healing at, at this stage, uh, in tuning up your weapons at this stage, because all these guns, uh, all the guns at the early stage, aside from the TMP, are uh, garbage, and you shouldn't be bothering with them. I, I tend to not upgrade uh, guns at all until, until later on. When you can get something that's a little bit better. Because, like, if you're going to replace the gun anyway, it's just, a re it's just a waste of money. It gets in the way of... Uh, you getting the best weapons in the game. Alright, here we go. Again, this game is like addicting. It's like everything about it is just so well thought out and immaculate. Like, you know, the combat, like all the things you can do, uh, you know, disarming enemies. Uh, I thought you could yeah, there you go. See how they drop weapons? Here we go. Yeah, they'll they'll have like a variety of things they can do depending on what they're holding. Uh, oops. Damn. I'm getting smacked around on this playthrough a lot more than I'm used to. I, I normally don't um have this uh, get hit that much, but okay, maybe it's just Yeah, my excuse is gonna be that oh damn, that's so awesome. My excuse is gonna be that I'm not I haven't played with motion controls in years and I I think the enemies behave a little bit differently, depending on what you're using. Um, I remember it being easier with the motion controls, but I might have just been really, really used to, like, exploiting them. Uh, hang on, I'm out of bullets. Let's see, what do I have? Yeah, I have the TMP. I, I might as well load the shotgun. Load it, probably not use it. Generally, what happens is I, I, I do tend to just use the handgun. Um... Unless I get, here we go. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, see, like that wouldn't be, that would have been a little bit difficult in using the classic controls. Here we go. All right, we're out of bullets. This had a uh, a fit. This game is about uh, 15 years old at this stage. Like it had its 15th anniversary recently, and I I was meaning to live stream it then, but uh, unfortunately I'm busy. I have like a career and stuff like that. Uh, so, it, it just went on my backlog, and uh, here we are. We're playing through it again. Because uh, I, I played through this relatively recently. I, I, um, I, don't, I don't remember exactly when. I, I think it was last year, or maybe the year before. Um, and it's a great game. I enjoy it a lot. Like I said, it's probably the last truly great uh, third-party game ever made. Yeah, yeah, let's... TMP for sure. I mean, the things third parties can do when they actually try to develop for Nintendo hardware. It, it's incredible. Like, this game is, like, considerably better looking than uh, pretty much every PS2 game. I mean, it has a lot going on. It has a lot of replay value. Endless replay value, honestly. Um... Playing through it again and again and again, I really do think it has that same kind of um, endless replayability that the all-time classics have. The, uh, you know, the, the Link to the Past, the Super Metroids, the Super Mario Worlds, Yoshi's Islands. Uh, it, it's that good, and that's uh, that's pretty high praise. It's very uncommon for a non-Nintendo game to be that good, but um, yeah, this, this one managed to, make, to uh, manage that. There we go. Oh good, I just...
it's definitely a uh, highlight of the the GameCube years for sure. Honestly, I I'm not sure if I would call it the best game on GameCube. I would have to uh, really evaluate that, but but I think it might be. I mean, I I've heard people sp speculate it might be in the past. I certainly don't care for like things like a Super Mario Sunshine and Luigi's Mansion can't really compete. Like, it has competition with stuff like Super Smash Bros. Melee, but I, I think it might be better than Melee, because I'm certainly not playing Melee today. You know what I mean? Like, Melee got, like, sequels that are, uh, kind of overshadowed. As good as, good as Melee is, like, it actually, uh, managed to keep the series going, and this one kind of, uh, I mean, no nothing's ever really been able to match this in, in any, not in, R not in the uh, RE series and not in the... Uh, not in the industry at large, either. Okay, hang on. It's, uh, very, very difficult. It's very, very difficult to make a game like this, uh, this good. I mean, even the creators couldn't manage it. Like, um, you know, Shinji Mikame, um, The Evil Within isn't great. Um... I don't know, that wasn't trying to be like this, though. It was deliberately trying to be, like, a horror game. Uh, say what you will about this game, like, I have a lot I can say about this game and how much I love it. Uh, it it's not a horror game, by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, it's like pure modern action, and that's that's not a bad thing, um, because they did it so well. Um, it, it really goes to show you, you can really do a genre shift, shift in a series if you do it the right way, and this seems to be uh, an example of that, and how to make a, a series more action-y. You know, by just giving Leon more training and uh, having him be able to do more things, it becomes an action game now. Like in the same sort of situation, but uh, ooh, Leon knows how to handle it now. Ooh. Uh, all right. I'm all right. Hang on. What do I normally do? I love how multi-layered these areas are. Like, um, I've played this game like, you know what? How many times now? And I still, I'm, there's still parts of me that are like, okay, what do I do next? Uh, who do I shoot next? Uh, where are the enemies going to come from? Because, like, they can come from the windows. They can come from, like, higher up. Uh, they have ranged attacks. They have firecrackers. There's all these things they can do. And then you have, like, different enemy types later on. Like, when you start getting used to an enemy, a specific kind of enemy, like, uh, the game changes. Um, the game... Uh, evolves and you uh, have to deal with more and more stuff um it, it's so so impressive how they um manage to keep the game feeling fresh not only just uh during the, the first playthrough but in the entire time you're, you're playing it i don't think i normally jump down this way yeah i think i normally go around uh yeah yeah i, I don't remember the last time i went this way uh here we go yeah see because there's a guy up here does he know where i am Sorry if I'm not paying attention to the chat, but I'm too busy, uh... <laughs> I'm too busy shooting, uh, the infected. Uh, Ganados. Not zombies! Uh, these things are not zombies. Uh, which is, again, really weird, uh, because this is Resident Evil, and Resident Evil is most famous for the zombies, but, uh... Hang on. Why is that guy just standing there? Oh, uh, whoop, whoop. Shit. Where'd these guys come from? All right. Hang on, I got him away. Damn! Who had the, uh... Who's the firecrackers? Where, where are those coming from? Is it that guy up there who was, uh, not doing anything? Here we go. Yeah, I think there's a reason I normally go around, so that doesn't happen. But again, um... It's sometimes good to just freshen things up. It is him. There we go. Here we go. Oh, did he? Oh, did he get killed by his own explosion? Wow, badass. Hey, what's up? All right. Uh. Damn. All right. Awesome. I think it's all of them. Um, did I get the uh, the treasure? Hang on, let me check. Yeah, I got everything. Yep. Let's see, combine. 
I gotta love how there, there are these bullshit puzzles just scattered throughout the world. Like, oh, uh, if you want to proceed, you gotta collect these two emblems that just happen to be there. Alright, well, whatever. Hmm. Again, like the controls are great. Like, like I said uh, in my first stream, uh, the controls are like amazing, which is especially bizarre since this wasn't made for the Wii, and this is arguably the uh, the best controlling version of the game um, since you can technically aim while moving, and, and it works surprisingly well. Um, again, because it wasn't built around it. It just goes to show you how well the game was made to begin with. Um. Here we go. And, and it's so satisfying to just p peg people with the, uh, the motion controls. It's, uh, it's a lot more fluid and fast than it is in the original. Which, uh, again, this kind of leads to a problem. Like I said, um, sometimes it can be too good. It, it does feel like, okay, you're kind of taking advantage of the game's AI. It wasn't built for this, but at the same time, it works really, really well. All right. Uh-oh. Now, one of the weird things about this, uh, this is one of the only times in the game where uh, Leon acts like this is a cover shooter. There aren't enough things to uh, to hide behind in this game. All right, hang on. I don't think this is the only time you can take cover behind something, but it's one of the uh, it's one of the few times. I want to say like two or three. It, it's literally that few. It always stuck out to me, like, oh no, is this the first cover shooter? But it, no, it's not. Like Leon, Leon doesn't need cover. He's better than the cover shooters. Like, he goes up and kicks these guys in the face, shoots them in the face with a shotgun, and then just knifes them to death. Like, it's not that complicated. You don't need to take cover behind objects. Unless it's uh, in this room for some reason. Um, oh, here we go. Alright, uh, let's see. And again, there... One of the nice things about this game, there are so many cool secrets everywhere. Like, you're not going to find everything your first time through uh, unless you have a guide. Um, I, I'm kind of in a weird situation because I grew up watching this game on a... Wait, no, uh, that's not the right one. Okay, that's for that's for the the lamp, right? Uh, the beer scene? Not the lamp. What am I talking about? Um, I grew up watching this on G4, so I knew a lot about this game before I actually played it. Uh, <laughs> this is actually the... Uh, watching this game on G4 was like one of the highlights of my... Uh, of uh, watching G4. I was about to say highlight to my childhood, but then I was like, wait a minute, that's pretty sad. <laughs> uh, no, one of my highlights of watching G4, a channel that could have been a lot better than what it was, uh, that's that's a bit more reasonable, I think. Uh, I really, really enjoyed watching this, because like, I was I was younger and uh, too young to play this game, and I wasn't really um, playing M-rated games anyway, so I was really curious about games that like um, other audiences were playing, uh, older people. And uh, a lot of times, I, already, I, I already didn't really like a lot of the stuff that uh, people were playing. Um, again, uh, Halo never really impressed me, but this uh, was different. This felt, like, stylish and cool and felt, like, different than other things. And it felt like, um, it felt like it really, it really stuck out from the crowd. Um, okay, let's, um, let me show you a little trick I always do. This is, a. Uh, I don't normally use grenades, but uh, I, I tend to use them in really weird situations like this. Uh, and see, you can uh, catch these fish and use them as healing items, and uh, if you throw a grenade down here, you don't have to shoot them. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I don't like using grenades, so it's it's good to use them in, uh, in weird uh, fringe situations like that. Does Video Game Lover 58 come to every stream? Yes, he does. He tries to. Um, he's obsessed. Imagine being so salty that uh, you don't like someone playing a game you have streamed. That's kind of uh, ridiculous. Uh, all right, here we go. The Brass Pocket Watch. Yep. Um, 
I love how the uh, the screen starts to uh, to go to get weird here. Uh, the foreshadow Leon's uh, uncoming possession. It's a nice touch. The, the entire game is filled with great moments like that. There's very little backtracking in this game, too. Um, I, I think there's a little bit early on, but uh, it, it stops being a... Uh, I mean, it's not even really backtracking. You're just going back to an old area and taking a different route. It's uh, one old area and taking a different route at the end. It's uh, Honestly, the levels are so well-crafted, I almost wish that... Uh, The levels are so well crafted, I kind of wish there was backtracking, like in Tomb Raider uh, 2016, uh, 2013, there we go. I can't believe I got it that fast. It's, that's one of those puzzles, I was just thinking that like, wait, how long is this going to take me to do? Oh, hey, look, it's Sattler. Uh, so he has paintings. He's been he's been taking over this village for a while. Um, damn. Again, this goes to show you how good the uh, the art design is. Like, this this house is like, you can tell it's a bit more well kept than the, uh, the rest of the village. Um, Chief Snow, as instructed by Lord Sadler, I have the agent in confinement alive. Why keep him alive? Why, why did you send that axe guy to uh, come after me then? I do not fully understand what the Lord's intentions are. I would, however, think he'd keep them separate, not confine them together as he had been ordered. I don't expect Lewis would trust a stranger, but if by chance they did cooperate, the situation could get more, more complicated. If for some reason an unknown third party is involved, I don't think they'd let a chance like this slip by. But maybe it's all Lord Sadler's ploy, leaving us vulnerable so the third party will surface, if they even exist, that is. It's an unlikely possibility, but if a prowler is already among us, then our plans could be ruined. I guess the Lord thinks it's worth the risk. If we're able to stop whatever conspiracy is at work. At any rate, it's the Lord's call. We will trust his judgment, as always. Uh-oh, there's a prowler in this village. Uh, who could it possibly be? There we go. Alright, uh... They're all textbooks written in English, but I don't have time to read them. Oh, no. E Leon the Bookworm. Oh, man. Leon would buy my books. Alright. I'd love to make something like this today, but I, I would like to make something like this someday, but I'm not sure um, how I would go about it. I don't want it to be a carbon copy, obviously, but, uh... You carry the same blood as us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. I mean, I've already been going around shooting villagers. Why? Uh, what? Same blood. Literally, the only reason they don't kill you uh, when they when they have a um, when they have a chance to is because you literally have the uh, the uh, the parasite in your blood. It, it just takes a while to. Um, to infect you completely, so they're just waiting for it to uh, to take over and uh, possess Leon S. Kennedy, and so they can use him to take over the world. Leon, but uh, <laughs> I'll use Leon to take over the world. How would they do that? Like, uh, they're going to use uh, Ashley. I guess their plan is to send Ashley back. Their plan is to send Ashley back to the United States and use her to like sort of manipulate uh, world politics. And uh, I guess Leon would be protecting her. From like I don't know her her father or whatever, <laughs> or maybe they would just send him out and like uh, fight people instead of zombies. I I don't know what their plan is exactly, but anyway, there are more important things than solving riddles right now. You're right. Hurry and find that church, Leon. This game is so good. Like it really is. Like no matter how many times I play it, it's um it it stays good. All right, take the green herb. All right, uh. This guy is a painting too. Uh. Look at the people in this house eat like normal humans. So I, I guess this is where uh, the chief lives. This is the chief's house. It, it's never really expounded on, but it's kind of interesting how they sort of design these things with the, with uh, that that kind of thinking in mind, like where people live and um, their different status in the society and stuff like that. It looks like the people here carry their lives like ordinary people. They even read books. So yeah, uh, the the giant, that giant chief is a uh, bookworm. He um, uh, all right. Oof. He loves to read. All right. Here's Leon. Yeah, I don't know why that guy was there. 
They use toilets. Yeah, they use a urinal. There's no, there's no regular toilet. Like, so they just take a dump in this thing? Really? Ugh. Kind of a weird oversight, but okay. Uh, it's GameCube. I, I, I guess the GameCube wasn't powerful enough to render a toilet. All right, here we go. <laughs> but it can have chainsaws, though. All right, here we go. Um. I don't even bother using the handguns against these things. It doesn't do enough work. It doesn't... It's not good enough. I'm just gonna peg him full of bullets. I don't, I don't care. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, I probably should, uh... Switch the shotgun. Again, like, it's better to just keep the, uh... The chainsaw away from you at all times. Get up! Get up! Alright. So I can shoot you again. There we go. I mean, I guess I can shoot him again while he's on the ground, but there's really not a point to that. I mean, it'll hurt him, but he won't flinch again for some reason. Just the weird way this game works. Like, see? Like, he just sits there and takes it. Alright. Here we go. Alright, got the ruby... Alright, uh, wait, did I get all the, uh, the treasures? I am... I know this game very well, but sometimes, um... Oh, it looks like I did miss one. Well, well, I have to go back around there anyway, so... It's not a big deal. Yeah, there's the church. Alright. I mean, I guess you don't need all the treasures. You're gonna, you're gonna have enough money to get everything anyway, but, uh... Again, it's helpful. Oops. I love how he, like, bolted towards me and immediately collapsed. I haven't been fighting a lot of women. It's mostly been dudes. Right. There are a lot of female characters later on. There, there are female villagers, but I don't think there are a lot of female uh, islanders or castle cult members. The castle people are are the, are the cult members, right? Like the dedicated members of the cult. The castle is like huge, by the way. Um, I, I can't imagine real castles are that big. I mean, the castle takes like what two whole uh, chapters to get through. Uh, well, chapters, um, chapters three and four, I should say. Not like the, um, the parts of the chapter. Chapter parts, like, how, how do you distinguish between, like, the, uh, the primary chapters and the secondary chapters? Like, one four versus two one, you, you know what I mean? Like, is it, do you call the first one the chapter? Ah, whatever. I, I guess, that, that's how I do it, because, um, at the end of each chapter, of each primary chapter, you fight a boss, and that's, uh, that, that's kind of a big event in this game, because uh, the bosses are insane. Yeah, the bosses are really, really good in this game, and uh, I can't wait to uh, to fight them. The first one is kind of gimmicky, but in a, in a good way. I, I really enjoy the first boss. Uh, let's see. Man, I already killed all these guys, and they come back. Alright. There are a lot of these guys. They're not very strong, but uh, there's a lot of them in this part of the game. It's a, it really does set the tone for what this game is like. Because you're gonna get swamped a lot by these guys, and uh, it's it never stops being fun. Like no matter what you're doing. Like I've literally done playthroughs of this game um, with like the um, with the uh, the best weapons you can get the uh, the Chicago typewriter, the uh, machine gun that, that incredibly powerful machine gun that like fires endlessly. Uh, yeah. Uh, there are post-game weapons you can get that are just insane, and uh, uh, it's the game is still really, really fun, even when you're uh, playing with something like that. All right, I, I'm just gonna run through. Um, I normally do kill everyone, but normally, but uh, there's no point here. I mean, I already killed everyone in this area once. Why would I do it again? These are people too, you know. Alright, uh...
One to three typewriter. All right. Uh. Yeah, I, I thought the uh, the merchant was in this room. I, I guess he comes back later, or he's at the end of this hallway. It, it's really weird because, uh, you know, when you play the uh, the separate ways Ada missions, like he's in different places, so it kind of throws you off. Really weird places too. Uh, hang on, if I remember correctly, there's a. Uh... Hang on, aren't there like treasures in here? Like, don't you only see them if you take out the lights? If I'm remembering correctly, hang on. Yeah, there we go. I knew it. Shit. Wow, imagine being that pathetic. Getting hurt by a fucking lamp. Like, go to, you go to touch a lamp, and then suddenly... Ah! Yeah, I think that's everything. Um, Alright, let's move on. That didn't even show up on the map, did it? I, I didn't see it on the map. I only got it by a sheer... Uh, I knew it was there. Alright, here we go. Again, I know this game very, very well. There, there, there might be some things I forget, but uh, it wouldn't be a big deal if I did. Oh, here we go. Oh, look. Look who it is. The greatest video game merchant of all time. By far the most memorable. People still, like, make references to this guy. He's, uh, there's no reason for him to exist, but he's just, uh, he's so cool. All right. All right. Uh. Uh, Alright, there we go. Uh, let's see here. Rifle. Should I get a rifle? Stock TMP. Damn! Uh, Hang on. Alright, here we go. Yeah, we're gonna have to do some big brain organizing. Again, like Arisen Evil will teach you organization skills. Uh, let's see here. This won't be a problem when we actually, uh... Wait, how do you... There we go. Yeah, that should do it. Oops. Welcome. What are you Let's see, stock TMP. There we go. Put this here. <laughs> Thank you. I guess we could just, yeah, I'll eat a fish and heal. I don't need more first day spray. Uh, I literally have so many healing items, he won't even sell me more first aid spray. He does uh, limit you to, like, two first aid spray, but since there's, like, instances where you can get more of it in, like, the world and stuff like that, um, sometimes you can not have any at all, and he won't sell you any. All right, so let's see, firepower, custom tune. Is that all, stranger? All right, there we go. All right, let's get going. It's really weird. I love this game, but I haven't played a ton of other Resident Evil games. Like, I played 5, and I tried to play 6. 6 was garbage. 5 and 6 were garbage. Um, and I really got to play the classic. I own all the classics, but haven't played a whole lot of them. <sighs> all right. I gotta get into them, and, and that's the plan. Um, they're on my backlog, I am gonna get through them, but uh, honestly, at the end of the day, I'd rather just play this again. It's that good. Oh, oops, here we go. Wait, what? Oh, where'd this guy go from? Oh, by the way, one of the weird things about the merchant, uh, he doesn't actually sell... Wait, is that right? Am I, am I talking about my ass? Oh, here we go. That might not be right. Uh, what am I talking about? All right. Uh, I guess we could uh, check. It, it, that's one of those weird things. Wait, wait, wait. Is that actually true or not? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, I mean, I guess I don't know everything about the game. I'm not. I'm not an expert. I'm not a speedrunner. I'm. I'm not the best Resident Evil player in the world. All right. Uh, oops. Here we go. Yeah, we might as well get a better handgun, because this dinky thing isn't going to cut it. Let's see here. Uh, I don't think we're coming back here, so we might as well just get them all uh, in this path, and then just get the other ones uh, when we go back around. Alright. There's their Church of Evil. Alright, uh... 
All right, so uh, Ashley's inside. Oof. Weird how they're not, like, putting their best people in front of uh, protecting their most essential prisoner, but okay. It won't open. Hunnigan, it's Leon. The door's locked. I can't get in. Didn't they teach you how to pick locks at the academy? Yeah. There's some sort of indentation, like something might fit inside. Well, there's no use standing around. Leon, you have to find some way or something to get inside. I, don't know, I would break through a window or something. It's not all that kind of to get it. All right. Uh. Like I said, that probably wouldn't be practical in a in a standard playthrough. All right. All right. Oof. Uh. Yeah, okay, so I don't remember exactly what you're supposed to do. Um, I don't remember exactly how this, um, what the symbols are. Um, they're on the gravestones. You're supposed to just take the gravestones, uh, the symbols on the gravestones, and just uh, adjust them. Twins must be buried under the grave. Okay, so the V. All right, so V. Uh, the sig, the, uh. Okay, so we're looking for the ones that are different. Okay, so a lot of them are the... Uh... Okay, so V, lightning boltish thing, and... Uh... Where's the last one? Yeah, find the ones with twins. Okay, M's. Okay. So, uh, okay. So V, M, and lightning bolts, right? Okay, shit, did I... Can you do it in three turns, or do you have to... Alright, uh... I think what you need to do... So I know the symbols, it's just a matter of, uh... Damn, uh, I thought that would work, alright, uh... Hmm... If, uh, Four. Damn. Uh. What does it mean that you could only turn it in like three or four increments? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Like you could just stop it. Like, uh. All right. Uh. Let's uh, try this again. Uh, yeah, it's probably it. Like, try. Here we go. Uh, then four. No. Four. 
Three. Three. Damn. Uh, all right. Uh, okay. So if I go four, one, two, three, four, and then four again, one, two, three, four. Now that'll, that'll land on an M. Uh, but if I do three twice, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, at least I can get the V, right? Here we go. Here we Let's try this. Yep, I think we got it. Got it. Awesome. Damn, that was, um, that took a bit longer than I thought it would. All right, no problem. Oof. Uh, all right, here we go. Like, each area in this game looks completely different. Like, this one has, like, a catwalks. You get a look out over the water. Um, it's, it's completely different. It's, um... Wah! Oh, okay, yeah, here we go. Uh... Oops. What Lewis stole from us is far more important than the girl. Do they really think that no one else will come looking for Ashley if we, uh, if we die here? Uh, if we become one of them? They're, uh, they're completely delusional. Like, again, this game kind of, um, exists off this idea that, like, no, like, the United States government would send a single person to deal with this, like, brainwashing evil cult with plans of world domination. Uh, oh, I missed one. Uh, I guess we, we come back through here? Should I get the medallions? I, I, might, I might as well, right? There it is. I mean, we come back through here, so I don't think it's a big deal. I just gotta remember to get it. I mean, honestly, I don't even think I need the handgun. I think you do get a better one eventually. Is that really true? I've, I've never heard that before. Um, I've never tried it, but um, that wouldn't surprise me. Um, there, there are probably a lot of things I don't know about the game still. It's, um... Honestly, it's not worth killing the animals for the... for gold. Alright. I probably been, shouldn't be grabbing this ammunition. Um, I should probably save it for later. All right. I guess we could come down here and uh, check out our buddy, the merchant, and his uh, his little hideaway here. I don't know what's what it what's with this part of the game, but there are a bunch of like merchant shops where he has like a bunch of uh, he has an entire little setup here, which is uh, really strange considering you're his only customer. Let's see. What are you buying? What are you yeah, I don't buying? think there's anything I need. What are you buying? Yeah, so I was right. Uh, he doesn't actually sell you ammunition. Which is really, really strange, but alright. Uh... We go. Yep, rock is coming down. Leon is the opposite of mundane Matt. He runs away from boulders rather than being sexually attracted to them. Uh, I'm the boulder evader. 
You won't get me this time, Quarry King. All right, here we go. Uh. There we go. Oh wow, is the fish coming up? Wow, I'll actually be able to fight the fish. I'm always really surprised every time I play this how quickly this comes up. Um, the game is a lot shorter than I think I uh, remembered it. I think I was, um, I don't know, I played the game so much and like, I guess I have this war perspective of how long it is. Cause like, I think it, I don't know, like it's, it can't be longer than 20 hours, right? Like an average playthrough takes like, what, like 18 hours? It's not, it's not a super long game. I mean, it, it really does depend on what weapons you're using. If you have the best weapons with like, uh, if you have the best weapons with like a full health meter and stuff like that, you're not gonna, you're not gonna struggle at all. You're gonna blow through everything. Like, there's literally nothing they can do to stop you. Like, even even with, like, the weakest weapons, I'm so good at it that, like, uh, they don't really uh, do as much as they can. Okay, where is the treasure? Um, there is a treasure around here. No. This guy blended in with the... He was a chameleon. He blended in with the black background, background right there. Ah, uh, here we go. I'll definitely be fit beating the fish. Wow. Tonight. Wow. That, I was honestly not expecting to beat the fish. Uh, or it's not really a fish. It's a lizard, right? It's technically some kind of, like, some kind of like, giant salamander. It's so big it looks like a fish, though. Yeah, when I saw that fish for the first time on like G4, I was like, wow, this game is like awesome. Del Lago. That's the name, right? Of the lake. Um, I, I guess it technically is a salamander, but I mean, how can you look at thing in, that thing and not call it a fish? Like, really? I guess it's how like people in biblical times thought um, whales were fish. I, I guess it's similar to that. Oops. I mean, it's in the water, so it's a fish, right? Oops. Here we go. 900, 1,000, 1,300. Yeah, there's a treasure here. I don't remember where it is. It's over here, right? You shoot a tree. I think it has. I think there's a nest. Hang on. Is this it? I guess I just look at the map. You know, like I... Okay, it's on the other side. It was really on the other side, huh? I honestly thought it was on the left. All right. Well, whatever. I guess I... Where is it? Oh, here we go. I swear it was on the left. All right. Yeah, I remember this little uh, this little bit here, but I thought it was on the left side. All right. Whatever. Uh, not a big deal. Oh no, I couldn't remember exactly where the antique pipe was. I'm, I'm such a failure at RE4. All right. Uh, all right. Here we go. Yep. The what? The boss fight is coming up. Yeah, we should be able to beat it tonight. I have to be going soon, but uh. It's not going to take me that long to beat it. Uh, there we go. This thing looks so, like, slapped together. Like, what, what were they trying to do here? Like, what's the purpose of this? And this place... I don't... These people had to uh, have built this before they became infected, right? So, like... What's the purpose of, like... Why does it look so clumsily done? You would think these people, like, would have g gotten this, like, to look nice, at the very least. Instead of, like, designing it to look like a Resident Evil level. Alright, here we go.
It's very easy to... Uh, I actually did miss this cutscene the first time I came up here. So I actually had... Um, I was expecting the the, uh, the boss because I, I've uh, seen this game being played before, but I, I had to uh, skip this cutscene. It's interesting. There are a couple of cutscenes that are probably skippable. This game is... Um, does not rely on its cutscenes to be good, which is uh, something I think a lot of modern games, uh, <coughs> The Last of Us, can can really uh, learn from. Why did it defeat the lizard? Why can't it just, why can't it just feed itself? Like, uh, and why isn't it bothering those guys? Like, yeah, uh, whatever. Yeah, you don't get Leon's reaction, you just get back to the game. Like, uh, it's there to shock the player, not not Leon himself. And, and again, that's, that's something you need to keep in mind when designing these things. Uh, here, we go, here we go. And there's this really weird cutscene that, like, is almost completely missable. The, the one after this boss fight, where you come back this way, and, like, you run into the wolves, like, or the dogs or whatever, like... You don't have to come back. Like, the only reason you would come back is for the treasure. Um, I, I think there's a treasure after you... Oh, hang on. Here we go, perfect. Holy shit, I'm I'm really packing my uh, my uh, case here. I guess that's what happens when you know what you're doing. Uh, Alright. Yeah, I, I, I've got to be going soon, but I, but I should be able to beat the boss. Unless I... Uh... No, no, I'm not going to do that. I've done it, like, once just, just to do it. And, and it is really amusing, but, uh, uh... So, wait, he... So, wait, the merchant... The merchant is down here, and yet the, uh... Alright. I guess the merchant just has a, uh, A natural immunity to the, uh... The giant eel fish. You don't, this is this is kind of weird for a first boss because you don't actually use your standard weapons. You uh, use these harpoons, and uh, you don't actually control the character either. Ah, shit! He got me. He got me good. Damn, that's so creepy. I love this fight. I, I love this fight a lot. It's really creative. Even though it's really weird how uh, you keep getting your... Your boat uh, anchor yanked on this thing. Uh, right. I mean, there, there's some... This game is... Um, this game really does... Um, <laughs> I deviate a lot from reality in order to make like a compelling video game. You know what I mean? Like, how does, how does this... How does the anchor keep getting caught on this thing? Why doesn't it just eat you? But, uh... But did I get it? I... Oh, here we go. Why do I have unlimited uh, harpoons in this boat? And how did it just uh, disappear like that? Couldn't you just... Couldn't you just see where the anchor was to uh, keep track of it? Okay. Of where it could be. And why does it charge you like that instead of just coming from below? I oh, don't well, whatever. Like we know it can do. I'm not sure if that's an instant kill if it gets you. Um, oh, I probably... Should I heal? I don't think an, another attack would kill me, right? And the weird thing about this boss is that, like, I, 
you don't die until it eats you. So that means uh, if you run out of health, uh, you end up in the water, but it gives you the illusion that you can get away when uh, you really can't. Uh, again, I love this boss, but it's a tad bit too easy for my face. Um, again, like... Ugh. Even on professional, it's not all that difficult. Oh, whoops. This game is so creative, holy crap. Got it. And the QTEs are kind of uh, difficult to fail. Uh, that, that's one of the things I like about the game. Uh, the QTEs aren't unreasonable. Like, we failed. Uh, when, we, uh, when I played RE4, RE5 co-op, like, we, we, we failed a ton of the QTEs because they kind of came out of nowhere in these long, lengthy cutscenes where I, I didn't care about what was happening. Uh, that's... Damn, I wish I could pass out. I'm tired. All right. It's funny how it's already, uh... It's already taking... Oh, yeah, that's right. You get the suppressants. Yeah, that's it. So it, it wouldn't take all that long for this thing to take over. Like, maybe a couple of hours, but uh, Leon gets a hold of, like, uh, suppressants, and that keeps him uh, clean until the end, where he can get rid of the virus com completely. I'm not sure why this brainwashing evil cult that relies on this parasite to uh, thrive needs a machine to get rid of the parasite, but, uh, uh, again, well... Yeah, I probably should sign off now. I mean, I do have places to go, unfortunately. I guess we could fin figure out my, uh, my formatting issues. Hang on. Yeah, we'll, we'll boot this up. Yeah, so someone complained to me today about the, uh, the screen, and I'm... I guess we could try to fix it real quick. Um, let's see, again, I'm still trying to um, to learn. Let's see, how does that look? I, I guess I could just compare it. Again, it's one of those situations where, like, I'm not a professional streamer, and I just do this for fun, and I'm just like, okay. I don't do professional quality shit, okay? Uh... Yeah, so someone complained to me today about the, uh... Let's see. How does this look? Yeah, I'm about to figure out the formatting of it to this, because it, it's just kind of... It just doesn't look right. Let's see. I mean, the thing about the smaller screen, at least you can see all of it, right? Um, if it takes up the whole screen like this, it just looks... Odd. Hang on. I mean, I'm fine with the way it looks, honestly. I just... Right, let's see here. The Wii menu? Why would the Wii menu have anything to... I, I guess it... I don't see anything there that could help. Hmm. The aspect ratio? All right, so how do I change that? Let's see, save data. No.
Let's Google it. Change your base resolution in OBS to 1280 to 720. Would that do it? We'll, we'll have to experiment. I, I guess off stream. I, I guess I could just end the stream now. Yep, yeah, I'll end the stream now and try to get this figured out for next time. Uh, tomorrow we will continue with RE4. Let me see if I can figure out my settings and uh, make things better for you guys. All right, so thank you for tuning in. I'll see you later. and. I'll